your kids are going to have their burdens. If you have been paying attention to the recent events in the year that was in 2020, you will know that the Smith family is one that got a lot of attention for a whole host of different reasons. Not the least of which was the affair that Jada Pinkett Smith admitted to having during a period of separation from her husband, Will Smith. But also via her Red Show Table Talk, she went in depth with Will and her daughter and mother and son about all their lives and how things are much more than they appear. So allow us to show you how Jaden Smith confronts mom, Jada Pinkett Smith, on Red Table Talk. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. The Name Is Given versus The Name One Takes The whole family of the Smiths will be the focus of this video, but don't worry, we're talking about Jaden Smith too, because many have called into question what he's done over recent years in terms of his looks, his career, and more. Both Jaden and Willow Smith had enormous pressure put upon them early in life, as they were expected to do well, especially because of their parents' success. Even having the name Smith in association with their parents has brought a lot of pressure upon them all. To that end, both of the Smith children are trying to take a step away from their last name, and Jaden explained why the two did that. I realized that Willow changed her name to Willow at some point in time, and that she was no longer Willow Smith. Yeah, it took me a while. It took me a while. Because if you look Willow Smith up, it'll still come up, but then it took me a while to see that it was just Willow, and I was like, yo, that's strong. You feel like you don't have to say your last name, you're just Willow. Jaden uses his last name for acting roles, but when he is doing his own ventures, such as his growing music career, he only refers to himself as Jaden. Now you might think that given some of the bold actions that Jaden has taken over the years, that his parents would be harsh or judging because of their expectations of him. But actually, the opposite is true. Baby, say, that's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> Number four, how Will and Jada gave freedom to Jaden and Willow. Over the years, Jada and Will tried to shield their kids from their marital issues that were very well documented by media and beyond. Even during their separation, the pair excluded Willow and Jaden from the drama. They didn't want their kids weighed down by everything that they had gone through. It was further revealed that the kids had always been a uniting factor for the couple. It was also said that it was never chaotic at the Smith's home, and during tough times as a couple, Jada would be gone a lot so that any hostilities wouldn't be shown to the children. Now, Despite their shaky marriage, Smith and Pinkett have tried to be the best parents to Jaden and Willow. In an interview earlier this year, the actor opened up about his experience as a father. He revealed that he was terrified when he had his first son, Trey Smith, when he was 24 with former partner Cherie Zampino. He added that he cried because he was suddenly so scared of being responsible for an infant's life. Smith revealed that he had a strict military-style upbringing with his father, and he imparted some of it on Trey. However, he said that when he tried the same technique with his son Jaden, it didn't go well at all. Willow, on the other hand, didn't take to that style at all and helped Will understand that each child needs a different approach or else more harm than good could be done, which is why both Will and Jada have a more lax or freedom-oriented approach to their parenting. Oh, man. What's it called that you saw? A pilot whale. A pilot whale. Some might disagree with what the two have done with their children, and that's their opinion to have. But as Jada would reveal, there is much more to raising a child than people know. And judging a famous couple for parenting fallacies is wrong in various ways. Number 3. How People Judge Children and Parents On a special Red Table Talk in 2020, Jada talked about mom shaming or blasting mothers who don't do certain things the way that other people deem appropriate. Jada had apparently been a victim to this over the years with both Jaden and Willow. For example, when Willow decided she wanted to go and shave her head to get a new look, everyone criticized it, except for Jada. For me, looking at how my children were being affected, that's what counts. When people are like, oh my god, I can't believe you shaved Willow's head. If they could have seen this child's expression of freedom, looking at her hair falling to the ground. So me as a mom looking at that and experiencing that with her, there is nothing that anyone could say to me to tell me it was wrong. Not one person, because I was there, I was looking at her, I saw her face, I knew the journey that she and I took together to get to that point, and so it didn't matter what anybody said. Willow added to this by noting that when it came to her and Jaden growing up, she had a hard time being accepted by certain communities because of how different they were in terms of their personalities and styles. Specifically with the African American community, I felt like me and Jaden were shunned a little bit. Like, we're not going to take pride in them because they're too different. They're too weird, Willow said of the response to their creative upbringing. Even some of our family members, I would feel they thought we were too different. Jada went into this further by noting, 
The thing that I had to consider was that they weren't raised typically, and I think for especially our community, it was something new. I think as Jaden got older, you know when he did the Louis Vuitton thing and he was wearing a skirt, you know? And then he isn't what people consider your typical black man, which is like, what is that supposed to be? She went on. Even in the community, we create stereotypes around ourselves, and it's something that we, as a community, really have to learn how to let go of. I know that people felt like it's dangerous, Jada said later adding. I understood where that fear came from, but I also understood from having been on the streets and having not been your conventional black girl in the streets of Baltimore, I knew that self-confidence is what helped me survive. It's easy to look at celebrity parents and think they have no excuses for not raising good kids. But if you really think about it, they have it just as hard as regular parents because they have everything in potential and have to raise kids to appreciate that. I'm so, so proud better. of you. Yes. To be able to see you and dad do that, for me, that was like, okay, that's a real deal. Number two, Jaden's path. As noted by Jaden earlier, he had to find his own name and way in the world, which for him started out by doing exactly what people expected of him. Jaden's first appearance on screen was in The Pursuit of Happiness, which he starred alongside Will and it helped kickstart a series of roles for him, including a big breakout role in the modern remake of The Karate Kid alongside Jackie Chan. But the big turning point for Jaden was in 2013, when he and his father again teamed up for the movie After Earth. The movie only did decently at the box office and it was critically panned by everyone. After seeing all the dislike for the film, Jaden Smith decided that it was time to step away from acting for a while and worked on his music. He became a rapper and worked on many singles and albums and had sang alongside musical artists like Justin Bieber, Kid Cudi, and more. He's even talked about who helped him inspire into becoming a singer. Kurt Cobain inspired me, Kid Cudi inspired me, Kanye, all of my homies inspired me, but the biggest inspiration in my life would be Kid Cudi and Tycho. Smith also considers his father Will Smith as an inspiration saying, he started in music and transitioned to movies. I started with movies and then I transitioned into making music. I look at him and use it as a blueprint of how good of a person he is, but not necessarily the success that he reached. His path now is very much his own. He's not opposed to doing various acting gigs again and even lent his voice to certain things like anime shows on Netflix. But his parents want him to live a life that he feels and knows is his own and fulfilling. I'm nervous. I'm nervous as the same goes for Willow, and that's why despite all appearances at times, it's clear that these two... Number one, love thy parents. You would think that after everything that's going on with the Smith family in 2020 that there would be strong cracks in their bond, but that's not the case. Both Willow and Jaden have gone and made various statements showing how much they love their parents, even with their dirty laundry being aired to the world. Jaden especially loves his parents because they didn't mind him going and trying to find his own path instead of following theirs. They didn't judge him when he left home or kept changing his hair color or had fits and outbursts on Twitter. They were there for him and he'll treasure that and be there when they need him. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Smith family and how everything that's gone on over the last year hasn't broken them at all? Were you shocked by some of what the Smith family had revealed about themselves? Where do you think the paths of Jaden and Willow Smith will end up? How will Will and Jada's? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.